Um, there is a functional testing, and this is uh, when we test the system against requirements. Basically, um, it's something like, sometimes uh, people refer to black box testing, and in that case, you don't know how it works under the hood, and you really don't care. Uh, what's important for you is when you do something, and it's called stimulus or user action, uh, the system gives you some response back or system reaction. And you only focus on those two things. You never get into the implementation details. So that's what makes, I think, the, the whole QA analyst job is just uh, great. You don't have to know what's inside. Um, so basically, yeah, there is a user action. There is some reaction, right? So in most cases, uh, user clicks something or enters something and something should, should happen right away. This is another defect that you can actually check out right now. Um, if you go to LA Times website, it's a newspaper, uh, and scroll down all the way to, uh, we call it footer, the, uh, the gray uh, box at the, at the bottom of the page. You can find a terms and service link over there and click on it and you will get to this page, uh, which is terms of service and it's actually a legal, legal document. It's mandatory if you wanna uh, launch an advertisement, for example, they will not allow you to do so without the legal documentation. So if you click on this mandatory arbitration uh, link, over there, you will see that um, <clears throat> you will actually see this, which is really error message in the beginning, that this is connection is not private, which is kind of what, not what you expect to see, right? But then even if you click uh, like continue, whatever, you will get this message down there, not found. Um, which is, again, are you expecting to see like not found when you, when you click on, on a document? Certainly not, right? So it's a bug. And because it's illegal related um, to legal issues, it's, I would say it's, it's very important, but it's been over there for um, at least a few months already. Nobody's fixing it, which is kind of weird. So yeah, this is definitely a major bug and you will find uh, a lot of them. Uh, for example, another one that I found uh, some time ago, I was uh, shopping around for a um, car battery. Um, so, and I ended up actually buying it at Home Depot online. Why? Because they don't charge a core fee for that. Um, the f f interesting thing that core fee is actually required by state law in 30 of 50 states, including California. So it's not something that they uh, can choose to charge or not to charge. It's actually mandatory, it's a law. So on the right side, there is a O'Reilly Auto Parts screenshot for a similar item. So once you add that to your cart, it shows $18 for core charge. Um, Home Depot actually charges, charges core charge if you buy it in store. So the funny thing, I had two car batteries in my cart. One I bought online and another I bought um, in store and in store was like 20 bucks more expensive than the online. So I ended up just giving it back because it was brand new. Um, this is how you can save money. Okay. Um, again, caused by a defect for sure. Uh, 